It starts off with a procession down the streets of the Thai resort town of Hua Hin, south of Bangkok. Then, for the next four days, one of the world's strangest sporting events takes place. This is the annual King's Cup elephant polo tournament. The rules are similar to normal horseback polo, except here there are two players on each animal, one to steer and one to swing the extended mallet. The drivers, or mahuts, have a strong rapport with their animals and are able to communicate with them through simple movements, taps and words. Plenty of goals are scored, but elephant polo isn't exactly fast-paced. The King's Cup tournament is run by the Anantara resort chain, who use it to raise money for Thailand's domesticated elephants, many of whom, with their owners, are now unemployed and forced to beg for tips on the streets of Thailand cities, despite this being officially outlawed. Anantara says all the elephants involved are domesticated and that the tournament gives them a chance to get off the streets, be well fed and receive medical checkups. Some teams take the event quite seriously, while for others, such as a team of former Rugby All Blacks from New Zealand, it's a bit of fun. At one point, the All Blacks even take on a team of ladyboys from one of Pat Pong's famous cabaret clubs in an exhibition match. It's a weird sport to begin with, but seeing these two teams compete possibly makes it the weirdest sport in the world. Mm -hmm.